And thus begins Cosmic Wool. What's up guys, it's Daz here. But you don't really care as it's time for another episode of Eggman in Space. Last time he was in the moon all by himself. Well, I guess, yeah, the, yeah, colony arcs are not quite the moon, but still. He was in the colony all by himself, no one for hundreds of miles nearby, fighting off the deadly darkness. Now, he has the ability to fly forever. Last time he learned to hover, now he can just fly upwards with the hover ability. That's the main mechanic of this level. You see arrows pointing up, you hover and you fly. It's pretty fun, and there's a lot of opportunities for combos. Now, uh, here's an interesting thing. Uh, you'll hear it later on in the second video, uh, in the second half of this video when it becomes more relevant, but we're having issues. It's, uh, it's a common theme over here that I have some sort of setup issues ever since I moved into my new place, and this one is no secret, or no, uh, I've forgotten the line. It's not no secret, it's no difference. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I've already, I've all actually, I've already actually recorded this finale. Kind of. This is actually the third time I'm playing Egg Cosmic or Cosmic Egg or whatever this level is called, I've forgotten. The first time I did it, it was a it was a new recording session because I was on a break where I had some extra time. I, I can't remember it. And I got about 30 seconds in. I think I can, like, by now I've already beaten that first try because I actually ended up getting a really important phone call that I had to take and that was all fun. That, that took away my entire recording session there, but hey, it happens. But then the second time, which was, you know, half an hour ago, I did it all, and I got through this level, got it all recorded, all was okay. And then I did the next level, and it was for the most part okay. And then I did the next level, I'm, I think I'm already getting confused on how many levels there are, but either way, eventually what happened was my computer, my like, two terabyte, what, it might just be one terabyte, one and a half terabyte, my, my computer with a whole lot of storage, at least it feels like a lot to me, was completely full, so my recording and my game audio, uh, my game voice audio, that's it, just completely crashed and died. Um, I noticed it because my voice stopped recording, so I was like, what's going on there? And then I was able to salvage that after going for a really long, like, Adobe Auditions is not uh, responding, yada, yada, yada. And then I went to go to the video, and I was like, okay, cool, we still got the first level, and then, like, whatever's immediately after that, and that's all cool. So uh, we'll just go with that, but because also the video got uh, cancelled, also here is our upgrade, it's building up more health, I apparently already have it, so sorry for that incontinuity error, it happens. Oops, as I said, I've already done this. Um, because of that, we, uh, oh yeah, the, the whole video was corrupted, it immediately like just cut off because it couldn't fit anymore, and the whole thing was unplayable. So even though this level was perfectly recorded, it wasn't, because it got corrupted. Oh well. Either way though, it, that's fine. I would say this is probably... I like, I really love this level from Eggman. It might be one of my favorites, just because it's just... Got so much opportunity for combos. It's just bombastic. It's fun. I, I just... I don't know. There are no Eggman levels I hate, I don't think. And no Shadow ones either, now I think about it. So it's just... It's all really good. Like, look at this. Is this not satisfying? Like, look at that. Amazing. I love it a lot. Last time I took damage here somewhere, and I wasn't quite sure how, but it looks like I survived this time, so I'm all good. Get rid of all of you, thank you. I like this as well, because Eggman is just sitting down, but also his mech legs don't have to do anything. It's like ultimate laziness. Anyway, let's progress further forwards with a little bit of acceleration, but not a whole lot. It seems to be a common theme in this level, though. There's a lot of towers to climb, and I guess it's to highlight the mechanic of, hey, you can hover and go upwards now. I gotta wonder, like... What's the law behind it? What's the purpose? Why are there such, like, why does all the platforms look like some kind of futuristic toaster or oven or hob? I don't know. Also, speaking of uh, ovens and hobs, I'm not generally a guy who cooks, right? I, I, I'm not sure how well known this is about me. I don't remember how many times I mentioned it, but I like cold foods. Like, I, for the most part, usually eat, like, pasties and sausage rolls. That's generally like, my kind of dinner, like, nothing warm, because I eat them cold anyway. I used an oven this week. I feel pretty proud of myself. I, I cooked some fish cakes for like 18 minutes and I was like, yeah, I can use an oven. I haven't used it again since. But still, it's the, it's the mini victories in life. I may be 21 years old, but hey, I can still be a kid. And by that I mean ignoring adult responsibilities and never cooking warm foods. <laughs> right. Get all of these down. Thank you. Oh, I did not lock onto you. Are you kidding me? Or you, what is going on? My lock on today? Did I just miss them all and assumed I had a punch? I don't know. Right. 
this, which is important. What does it do? Oh, it, it makes that thing stay up. Oh, well, you don't have to do that, but all right, that works too. You can just make it let it, you can just allow it to move normally and it will eventually be in the right place for you to jump and hover to get the right height, but it all works out anyway. And something I do found, or I did find uh, intriguing and like crazy to me when I first finished this level is it's a long level. We've been playing for five minutes. It doesn't feel like it. It feels just, it feels nice and fast paced and fun. Usually with a Sonic level, you'd think five minutes, that's quite lengthy at this point. You'd want them to be one to three minutes. Hopefully not one, but you know, they sometimes turn out to be. We're going to you original Green Hill Zone. But like, I don't know. It's just something about it all. It just is constantly engaging. It's really well designed, I think. Like, I'm entertained throughout, even though I am taking, you know, multiple minutes. I like it a lot. I'm going to die. Ah, oh, well, right. Get some extra height on the springs. Now, last time I did this, I got an E rank, and I thought I did quite well. And I think it's going to be the same again here. Let's find out. Maybe I'm just not getting enough combos as it wants, or maybe I'm not getting enough rings. I don't know what the, the trick is. It's the same as well, because a uh, future, well, to get like 100%, you need to get an A rank in everything. So getting an A rank in this seems like it's going to be a trial for me, and not that I'm going to try, but I might do, as I said as in like the first episode. It could be a possibility with streams, depending on how popular this series is and how much people want to see it. Gosh, I'm saying too much too fast. But also, doing the alternative missions at A rank are going to be fun. Like, there's another one that's just hard mode of this, and I wonder how I'd get A rank in that. Oh, Lord. Right, let me just stab at all of you, looking at you too awkwardly in the eye with my laser beams. Thank you. <laughs> and let's go. Hope 55,000 points is a good score. I also remember right here, I think it was like around this point, I was like, I don't think there's much left. And there's like a ton left. Actually, I think I said it way earlier because we're coming to the end now. Like, this is our last railing section, I believe. But it's also quite a lengthy railing session. But no, my favorite enemies in this game have got to be these can guys. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but I just like shooting them. They're just entertaining. They're just like little... It's like enemies in a can kind of feel. I don't know. This feels like a war zone every time. It's like I'm not even supposed to be the one fighting them. They're fighting each other too much. But who knows? Extreme good. Now it's time for Toy Story 4. There's a big spiky door aiming at us. Keep shooting it with your bazooka and eventually pieces will fly off. You can look onto it sometimes, but I haven't been very consistent with that. So I, I'm just going to mash. Oh, I'm locking onto the items so they go past. I think that's what's going on. I don't know. Anyway, I've never actually had them all fall off, so usually if you survive long enough, you'll get shot ahead into the goal. Yes. Last time I did this in eight minutes and a half, I think, so I'm just getting better. Maybe I'll do better than an E rank? Let's find out, eh? Hey. Wow! You know why I am the best. Maybe it's because I kept my rings? I have no idea. That was amazing. Okay. Darn! Why do they always leave a sweet little innocent girl like me alone? Well, well, young lady. Is there something I can help you Mr. with? Mr. Eggman! If you value your life, you will tell me where Sonic and Tails are. Let's take care of business first, shall we, Sonic? Hand over the Chaos Emerald, slowly, and then we'll talk about your girlfriend. That is, if you really care for her. Handing over the fake Emerald? I can kill two birds with one stone! Put the Emerald down right there and back off! <coughs> Turned into a big time villain, Doctor. <laughs> Whoa. You thought you could trick me with that fake emblem, didn't you? So, how did you know it wasn't the real one? Tails! <laughs> because you just told me, Fox Boy. For a little space ride. The capsule clears the colony. Bam! I'm counting on you, Tails. Amy, take care of yourself. 
farewell, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic! Farewell, Sonic, my admirable adversary. Sonic! Oh. Now we have some unfinished business to take care of. If you give me the real emerald, I will release you both. You have my promise. Sonic! Huh? Sonic is asking for the first time to do something for him. I won't let him down. I won't give up! I mean, he just said I'm counting on you. Maybe he just wanted to, you know, do his numbers on your head. Done to Sonic? I'll never forgive you for this. But sure, I'm sure he instructed you. He, he gave more instructions to Amy. But anyway, he is the same as the second fight against Eggman. I would recommend just being overly aggressive because in my past I struggle. Alright, I don't want to hover through this. Noted. Like, I'm just being crazy aggressive. I'm holding left. I, like, I, I don't know. It's tough luck to me. What have you done to Sonic? I'll never forgive you for this. And thank you, Omachow. You're going to come in now? Yep. I, 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 I kept quiet as well for Roma Chow, and it just didn't. It just didn't. I'll never forgive you for this. I don't need a tip every time I die, Roma Chow. He has patterns. I assumed it was kind of half random. Hence, like it felt really random and janky. Like yeah, he's, he's doing it. Like last time, he started with missiles, and this time, I'm somehow out of the way. One of them works. Something works there. I'm not a pro gamer of the second rival battles. Oh well. I guess he was just a regular hedgehog after all. Legend has it, when all seven Chaos Emeralds are collected, the power creates a miracle. I have six of them. They're mine. All mine. I don't think so. Shadow. So that was your plan. Or was it a direct order from the president? Now I know who you are. You're that government spy, Rouge the Bat, aren't you? So you did your homework. Is that it? I would say that's an invasion of privacy. I could say the same thing about you. <laughs> it looks like things aren't quite going your way. But since my job was done, I thought it was time to take what's mine and get out of this place. You are one pathetic creature. Hmm. Look who's talking. What about you? Here are the results of the research project called the Ultimate Life Form. But. If this picture is of the real ultimate life form named Shadow, then exactly who or what is standing in front of me? emeralds where they are. The fake emerald is good enough for you. Do you actually believe that you're the real shadow? No doubt. Even your memories might not be real, you know? Even if my memories are not real, it's still me, shadow, and I will fulfill my promise to Maria. That's the only thing that matters to me. Alright, and time for the final chase. It's the same as Final Rush, but now it's Shadow and the level design is somehow completely different. But I gotta say, this level is a lot more fun to me just because I do better at it. Pretty much simple. There is a general mechanic. Here it is. Whoa, okay. I was hoping it wouldn't be as janky as that because that's a bad introduction to the thing. But oh well. That I also like a lot more than the basic one of use the railings, which is basically all Sonic got. 
Huh, now I think about it, Sonic is kind of shafted in this version of the space race, but oh well, also, I just love that it's actually a space race. Huh. Anyway, no, the whole mechanic of this is you've got big long tubes with spinning gravity to them. Well, I say spinning gravity. It's gravity. They have gravitational pulls and you spin along them, so it's not really spinning gravity. But you know what I mean? It's just a nice and easy little thing, gives you a little break and you just have to hold up and you're mostly going the right direction. Although there are obs as calls you want to avoid and glitches like that. Oh, alrighty then. Shall we try that again? I will admit, actually, the mechanic around these guys are a little janky, and I hope they're better in other ports, but this version seems to have a little bit of trouble. That's... well, I'd say that's fine. It's not entirely fine, but I will survive anyway. Ow! As per usual, I have already done this level before as well, and I actually did quite well. I think I got A rank in it? I am not sure. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Either way, there was another upgrade we got. I don't actually remember where exactly it is, I'll try and find it again, and if I do, then I'll show it off, and if not, I apologise, I have it, but I guess I won't reference it, or I'll tell about it when uh, we come later in the level and it might become relevant, who knows. Ooh. But yeah, this whole gravity thing is a little bit iffy at places, but I like it anyway, it's fun to play with, and that's what the, that's kind of what the game's about, having fun, and I definitely, as a kid, had fun with this game, so it's kind of doing something right, right? I don't know. I guess I'll find out compared to my uh, comments on the review on how how logical that line of thinking is. Right, up here, and here's something that's quite interesting. Oh no, actually I don't think so. No, I'm thinking of something later in the level. Here's a path down. It's basically the same as last time. I don't know if there's actually a, a punishment for taking the other ones, but this one seems to be somewhat right, so I'm going to do that. I'm stuck on something in the middle. That's very odd. Okay. Apparently I'm not allowed to spin dash on them or attach to them either. I didn't have this issue before. And also, like, the lives that I have here are going to affect how many lives I have fighting uh, our next rival, but uh, we'll see how that goes, huh? Come on, we can do this. Right, cool. I think we survived the bad bot. The bad, the bad bot? The bad spot. Now, the upgrade we're looking for is way up high. You'll know where it is if you've got an electrical barrier on a vertical pole. Hey look, it's over there. This is where we need to be. So, even though it's not going to show its visibility, I'll show where it is. It's way up here. Right over here. You can see even the ring for it and everything. It is the mystic melody. When you go up to these statues, you get something mystical happening. In this case, it's teleportation, apparently. Which is nice. Get out of here, you. Uh, they're scattered around all of the levels. Mostly found for... They're mostly useful, shall I say for the uh, third mission in every um, level, which is mostly to find a lost chow which is usually hidden behind some sort of mystical path of, uh, of some sort, I, I believe is the case. But no, there you go. Every character gets the myth, um, whatever it was, mystic melody. But I only actually found it as Shadow on the very fi uh, final level in the, in the story, but oh well. Now, there we go, cool. I also had a couple deaths missing the railings at these points, so let's see if I can you know, not have that happen again. Now, there's a nice little easy to spot shortcut by just taking the upper path on these guys. I guess I've got to actually platforming properly, but there is a checkpoint here. Don't forget it, because I did last time, and then it, I died, and I had to go way far back than I wanted to. Further back. Further back is the word I'm looking for there. Hwa! And also, I just feel pretty cool being able to do this. It's like, yeah! I don't think that diagonal pole has any purpose. I, I went on there once, and I, it, nothing... nothing it, wore, it wouldn't let me go up it. What was the happening of that? What was the happening of that? Okay. Oh well, also, I feel like I'm going so fast right now, like I'm, I'm just skipping all the little, like I'm barely stopping. No rest for you, Shadow, which makes sense since you are supposed to be chasing anyway. It's, it's like, it's, it's the equivalent of a space race, I love it. Anyway, at this point you don't even have to jump, you just have to hold up and you automatically go onto the next things. It feels fluid, oops, and it's not scripted either, it's just how it plays. Okay, now that's a little janky, <laughs> the way he kept like changing his direction. Oh well, there we go. And up here, here's the reverse of the usual three-point choices. The guy's even facing the wrong way. It makes it feel like you are going backwards somehow. Oh, well. Cool. Spring, please. Uh, I can't remember what's over... Oh, over there is a life, which I don't... Oh, yeah, I can get. Cool. I don't know why I thought it would be, like, gone on me, but... Oh, oh, oh. Yep, I very clearly need that life. Oh, lovely. 
And now... Fight! I have no idea how anyone else is supposed to maneuver this place. Like, is it, is it actually supposed to be a path, or is Shadow just sort of, like, winging it and just happens to find a way through everywhere? I don't know. What I do know, though, is we're now going down, and all we need to do is uh, hold down and hope you don't run into the meteorites, but I think we should be fine. I don't think they're close enough to actually be lethal unless you jump. So, lovely. Oh, I'll do it again. I forgot. Nor me. Just coming up on five minutes now, and you've got to find the right time to jump onto the spring and whoosh into the goal. Lovely. I love Here it a lot. Go. It's a good level. To me, at least. Maybe I didn't try hard I enough. got an E last time, so I guess that's okay. And now it's time for me to officially have a break while I go back to the past, if that makes sense. You never cease to surprise me, Blue Hedgehog. I thought that capsule you were in exploded in space. You know, what can I say? I die hard. So, there's more to you than just looking like me. What are you, anyway? What you see is what you get. Just a guy that loves adventure. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog! I see. But you know, I can't let you live. Your adventuring days are coming to an end. And wouldn't you believe it, it's All the finale! Right, Time for me to finish this! And we're having some immense problems already! Oh lord! So, in this video, already, I've already recorded, you've seen it as well, the egg, or cosmic egg, or whatever it was, cosmic space with Eggman in space. And then we also saw Shadow going through the final chase. Except, I did that, and we ran out of, well, I ran out of uh, file space on my computer, so my audio just cuts off at the beginning of uh, final, final chase, that's the one. And my actual video recording just fell on, gave up. The whole video was corrupt, and I'm gonna have to do them all again. Oh lord, I'm probably gonna include clips of my commentary in it, like I imagine the end of the uh, cutscene with Shadow and Rouge I'll probably keep in from earlier. But no, I have to redo this again, which is exactly what I did for the finale of the Hero Story. I had to redo the finale twice because I lost something or other. I can't, I can't remember what was going on anymore. It was a long time ago, it was like four days ago, but still. Anyway, <coughs> not allowed to be dying on the final boss. It's too fitting. Wow, we're just getting lucky. So yes, it's the final Sonic vs. Shadow, or Shadow vs. Sonic, I guess in this case. And he works the same way as Shadow, getting harder and harder to hurt. But you can, you know, homing attack into him, you can light speed dash, it's the best choice, you can spin dash, all sorts of things. Sonic will also get another unfair super move that we never get to use like Shadow. We don't get to use the Chaos Spear or anything, but oh well. Also get used to Sonic saying, I'll use your Chaos Control because he says that every time he teleports. I'd be curious to see what would happen if you had like both the AIs fighting and actually attacking each other. It'd be interesting to see how they interact with each other, you know? Just like, this is the ultimate, I'll use your Chaos Control! I don't know. Also, I apparently don't have the voice to copy Sonic's voice right now, so excuse my poor quality. I don't want to wait around. I'm oddly enough doing slightly better in controlling Shadow than I am with Sonic when I did this, but oh well. Cool. Perfect! Nope, not quite. He was just a little out of it. I'm not really sure what else my technique's gonna be. Also, I'm hearing that doorbell sound again with this song. Damn it, I, I didn't even do it. I just walked into him. Uh, part of this battle does seem kind of luck based to me. I don't know. I mean, in my past, I've just had I've had the luck that I've had at the beginning half of this thing, where I've just kept light speed dashing and it just, it just works. But doesn't seem to be the case this time, huh? Maybe if I do this to change this pacing. Oh, that almost actually worked. Oh well. Oh, make him jump. Oh, damn it! Damn it! I'm, sure I'm focusing too much. Focusing too much? That seems to be a backwards thing, you think? Ooh, can we do that? Oh my god, that works! Oh, I've cracked the code on the final finale. Damn it! Alright, jump! 
Jump for me. Okay, you left one ring. That's not gonna work. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Get another middle ring, and then we'll do it. Didn't get the light speed dash. He didn't. He's not jumping. Damn it. Okay. I know you will. Here we go. This might be too far away. Yeah, it was. Oh, we almost died. Anna died. Bad luck. All right, Shadow. Time for me to finish this. Beware of Sonic special attack. Is he gonna start using it now? Sonic wins. Use the somersault. I'll use your chaos control. I'm not done with you yet. Yeah, here it is. Sonic wins. Just somersault, apparently, or just keep going really fast. That works too. I feel like that's probably Shadow and Sonic's preferred move, so we'll see. <coughs> that's unfair. I like speed dashed into the pain that time. Damn it, I did it too early, and it probably wouldn't have worked anyway. Oh, damn it, I was gonna do the the waiting, but I, I did a spin dash instead. A light speed dash, even. I don't even know the terms of my own moves. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes! Oh man, I got scared as well because I had to wait a little too long. Oh, that was a little too early. Here we go. You can see it all lighting up. Nope, nope, you can't. Here we go. Yes. Oh. No. Be oh, I was just on the edge of it. Might be. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, I did I get him? Yes, I got him. Okay, that's okay. I imagine Sonic Wind might be the other alternative of like that's your timing to do it. Oh, I mentioned that at the end of the Sonic Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. So close. He's only got one more hit. Yeah, oh, I messed it up. It's our opportunity. Bam! I failed. I told you I'm the ultimate. <laughs> <laughs> this completes my plan to take over the world. Now begins the glorious era of the Empire of Eggman. And that's the end of the dark story. Oddly enough, I do believe though, that <coughs> although the endings are very clearly different, you know, Sonic succeeds and explodes the cannon, I think they still end the same because at the end of the hero story, we see Eggman sort of on the floor when everyone's like, yay, let's look outside the window. And we see Eggman's hand grab the real Chaos Emerald. So I think it's implied that at the end of the hero story, Eggman still gets to the main control unit and puts in the seventh real Chaos Emerald. I think. Even though really, Sonic still exploded the thing by obviously putting the bad seventh one in. But there is that shot of him taking the real one, so maybe he did something with it. It's possible he, at the end of the hero story, Eggman has all seven Chaos Emeralds. They, that's what that shot's there for. It, it might be like a a weird way they tried to, like, bring him to the same spot. I don't know. But either way, that was fun! I am realizing now, though, uh, that I, I have real, genuine, proper thoughts to say about the game, but I'm gonna hold off on it for a little bit longer. For now, I'll just talk about the dark story. I love it! Like, it, you know, it, it works well with the hero story in that it's identical and uh, duplicates the whole format of, you know, the hero story. That's perfect rivalries. Uh, Rouge's levels, they admittedly were my least favourite as a kid, just because you had the immortal chasing thing with the bugs and the five minute time limit, which I wasn't a fan of. Eggman's levels though, amazing. I love them. I don't know why, it just 
the atmosphere, the fighting, the gameplay, just all of it, the combos, I love it. The sound of him, everything, it's all good. And Shadow, he's pretty good himself. I don't think there's a Shadow one I hate. I think, I can't really think of it. Um, like even Sky Chase, the, the identical to Sky Rush that I hated so much. It was good fun, I just liked it. I, 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 Dark Story, I would probably say I prefer Dark Story over Hero Story, maybe. Even though uh, Hero Story's got much, like, Hero Story's got the best levels and the worst levels, I think. Dark Story's got, like, a nice balance, I think. I don't know if that's true, but either way, I do know that I enjoy playing the villains a lot, and that probably says a lot about me. I have no idea. Also, Eggman always has that big gun in that final, like, confrontation scene, but he never uses it. It's like he got his gun out, and it's like, right, time to kill Tails. I'm gonna put that away in my back pocket, and now let's fight. Like, it's a little odd, but oh well. But yes, you may notice there are still a couple loose ends. That ending scene was a little bit abrupt. You know, there was a big danger sign, but that's about it. Maybe there's more to this story than just the two perspectives, huh? But I'm sure you know that already. Okay, no, I was waiting for a more important notification to come up. Shadow. The ultimate life the form. Of Chaos Vengeance. Space Super Untamed power. Maria Professor Gerald told the truth about 50 years ago. Everything. Sonic Adventure 2. Last episode. Wishes are eternal. Thank you, Solid Snake. But yes. We have now unlocked another menu option. This is all new because we did completed one of the stories, so now we can go on stage select boss and cart race. But more importantly, we have the last story. So we're going to be taking that on next time. For now, my name's been Daz. You didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.